This is a quick startup guide for the AeroDry 1200 CFM desiccant dehumidifier built by Control Dehumidification. For complete instructions, please consult the owner's manual and obey the safety stickers located on the machine. The MS1200 is built for indoor use. When setting up the unit, please make sure to follow the proper precautions for electrical safety. Locate the unit on a stable and level surface. Allow for proper clearance for safety and service and before using, check for clean filters. Prior to startup, inspect the unit for damage or missing parts. Check the electrical cabinet for loose wires or trip breakers. Reset breakers if required. Tighten wires as required with the power off. Attach the 10 inch ducting as the job requires. The process or dry air inlets are the two openings at the bottom of the machine. The two 10 inch openings at the top are the process or dry air outlets. Do not add too much ducting and keep the duct runs as straight and tight as possible as to not restrict airflow. Connect the 10 inch hose to the reactivation inlet and outlet as the job requires, making sure that the moist reactivation air leaves the space being dried. Ducting is not required on the intakes for the process and the reactivation inlets. Check to make sure the machine is turned off prior to connecting the power. Connect the appropriate power cord and locking connector to the flange receptacle on the machine. The cord should be connected to a 240 volt single phase power supply with either a 30 amp breaker or fuse with proper grounding for operation at low reactivation or a 50 amp breaker or fuse for operating on the high reactivation setting. Once power is applied to the machine, the white power light will illuminate. The green light will turn on when the unit is running. Position the high-low switch to match the appropriate power supply, 50 amp for high, 30 amp for low reactivation. Position the humidistat switch to the bypass position. Turn the on-off switch to the on position. The machine will start operating. At this point, both fans, reactivation heaters, and rotor drive will be operational. To run the unit with the humidistat, please consult the owner's manual for details.